Uh, I've been very lucky in the last um, 15 years um, to have found a friendship with uh, Bedouin who live just outside of Jerusalem towards the Dead Sea. Um, I say I'm lucky. I'm, I'm lucky because someone else is unlucky. That is, these people who have lost their land a few times, been forced off their land, they've had their houses demolished and all that, um, ended up living very close to where I live, just a few miles from the Jewish part of Jerusalem. And, um, and they're, ver they're welcoming, they, they uh, are hospitable, and I've, I've uh, um, tried to help them. Uh, many times during the week, I go out there and I, uh, with volunteers. You know, the, the, the Bedouin are like the shepherds all over the world who uh, find themselves in conflict with the city or with the people who are farmers. Uh, so this conflict, um, uh, we see it in many countries and we see it also in Israel. Um, I think that it's very, um, it's very hard for me to talk about this because it's painful for me, but I, I want to share with people who are watching and listening um, that many Israelis recognize that Zionism, which was the movement of Israel, of Jews from around the world back uh, to the land that we lived on once, uh, Zionism had a certain blind spot or a mistake. It spoke about we, a people without a land, are coming back to a land without people. So that the early Zionists didn't really recognize that there was someone living there and they had, there had to be some um, uh, modus vivendi, of living together. Um, Zionism developed an economy, it developed a lifestyle um, separate from the people living there. And the people, of course, were the Palestinians. So that as the Zionist um, society grew, it began to encounter friction with the Palestinians because the Palestinians were already there. And, and it's us or them. So this attitude of us or them, which is characteristic, um, makes the conflict more and more intense. And in recent years, this conflict is happening even more between Israel and the Bedouin because the Bedouin are shepherds. If you have sheep, then you need a lot of land for them to, to eat the, the grass on the, to, to, to graze. And these shepherds live in the desert where there isn't much grass, so they need even more land than, than in Spain or in Italy where there's plenty of grass. So in the desert, there isn't much grass. So the Bedouin used lots of land and then Israel said, well, we want this land. We want to develop it. We want to build factories and cities and all that. But they didn't do it in a way which would be um, helpful to the Bedouin. It was just by force. And so we see all the time uh, the Bedouin are losing their land. Their villages are not recognized. They're forced to move because they say, well, you don't have the right to be here, but they were here before we came. And this is, as you said, it's a story that is not covered much in the media. It's not covered much in the media because usually it's not violent with people being killed. So it's a quiet story, quiet suffering, quiet injustice. And I'm part of a large group of Israelis who are trying to change the government attitude. But uh, we have a long way to go.